what's up soul squad what's up my soul squad how you guys doing today it is a beautiful day in dc how is it you know before we get started let's do what we do I'd like to thank god for waking us up spending another day with our family and friends because that long clock thing wake you up he did can i get an amen amen now whew, bright eyed and bushy tail today y'all is what i was feeling I haven't been feeling like that lately you know but um how you go from warm warm like so warm 80 degree weather you gotta turn your ac on to where my heater at it was freezing this last couple of days oh, excuse me then you wake up monday it's a beautiful stay it's not spring yet we got to what march the 20th or something like that but yeah oh god how is you looking i need to get some sleep y'all my sleep pattern is all i'm not sleeping well um but that's either here or there i think that's just me i don't know what's going on with the sleep I wake up go to the bathroom like two or three o'clock in the morning and can't go back to sleep till like nine or ten o'clock in the morning i don't know just that little bit of rest felt like i'm rejuvenated but y'all what i want to say i'm gonna give um my prayers go out to the braxton family y'all whatever that they whatever they're going through please let god uphold them get them strength to continue on to be there for each other to support each other because the loss of a loved one is never easy so my prayers go out to the braxton family and um with that being said, you guys know Tracy Braxton passed away Friday. Oh, uh, it was a, I think it was Friday, but they didn't announce it to Saturday or something like that. But I want to talk about first of all, I had a great weekend. Um lately I've been having this great weekends, you know, and it's just great because one thing we woke up. You didn't do that by yourself. And then just 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 top everything else that you got going on it's just it's a great great weekend and you know made to another weekday which is monday another week ahead of us you know get blessings out to everyone who got to get out here in the streets and go to work y'all sitting outside because it's a beautiful day out here need some fresh air blessings to everyone who got to get up every day go to work maybe god give you the strength to overcome whatever challenges you have at your job whatever challenges you had to get you there if you want to get there he's gonna get you there because he know what you need to do he got your back and um I want to talk about immortality. It's not real. Immortality. It's not real. Longevity. Hmm, we think we got it, but we don't. And I'm saying this because I want to touch on the fact that I touched on this so much is that we all think we have time. We all think we had time. Things happen unexpectedly. You don't get to mend bridges or or give forgiveness or say I'm sorry because you never know when. And I'm here to say this mortality, immortality, longevity. None of that stuff is not in the cards. It's not. Immortality is not real unless you're some type of superhero or actor playing it in the movie. And this is real as it want to be. But we're talking about real life, real life families, real life problems, real life apologies and sorries that we need to give out. The flowers that we must give before we before we gone away from this world. That's what I'm talking about, family. That's what I'm saying. I want to say that if you got any bridges that you need to mend. Do you got any sorries that you think you owe to someone? Any apologies you think in your heart that you should give? I say give it now. Because you may wake up, that person may be gone. And then you're going to be left with this wound in your heart. You're going to feel some type of way. You're going to be left with this hole in your heart. And you're going to be saying, oh, the woulda, coulda, shoulda. Why I didn't say this when this person was here? I was about to call them and tell them how I feel. Pull out your phone book. Pull out your phone. Call that person who you think may have done you wrong. Who you feel right. Feel like having done right by you. Somebody that you feel need a second, a third, a fourth, or a fifth chance in your life. I'm not saying you got to go and be with the negativity. 
It's you positivity. You can always walk away from people. You can apologize to a person. You can accept someone's apology without giving into the trust, without being around a negativity. Because this is all about healing you, making you feel good, making your inner self be like, who? If they were to leave this earth today or tomorrow, you know you did your part. You know, and, 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 and it's about closure to whatever situation that you have going on. And it's about getting prayers to God. You know, helping Him help you get through whatever it is that you need to get through to that person. If you don't think you got the energy or you're stubborn, Pray to this man upstairs. Have him give you the strength to do the right thing. Somebody got to step up. Somebody got to say, I'm sorry. Somebody got to apologize. Because we don't have immortality. Longevity, we always think a person is going to be here today or tomorrow. You think you're going to be here today or tomorrow. But it's not promised. Each day, when each day ends and you made it through that day, it's not promised you open your eyes up tomorrow. And the day... When you do open your eyes up, it's because God got something new for you. He may just give you that one extra day so that you could do what you need to do. So that you could make that apology, make that sorry. Reach out to a person that you wanted to reach out to, but you just haven't done it. Let them know you're thinking about them. I'm telling you, life is just so short. And all, these, and all the time you think that we got, we don't. It's about to be spring. We're about to go to a, I'm telling you, once summer ends, it's going to be November, October, November, December, January, all over again. And it's going to come in the blink of an eye. You know what I'm saying? So, I have this song by Tim McGraw that I like and should be my newfound thing. I want to live like I'm dying. Um, live like you're dying. You want to soar like an eagle. If you ever, I'm telling you, I listen to country music. Go listen to the song by Tim McGraw. Live like you dying. Put some perspective on it. And I'm telling you, man, I love this song. It's gonna make you feel so, so, so good. And and and, and he says a lot in the song. And what he say is the truth. You know, he talk about how he he did some apologies to people. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta live like you dying. Like yesterday, it's not some, it's not promise. Again, immortality and, uh, and and being immortal and and longevity. None of this stuff isn't real. It's not promised to us. You know what I'm saying? You can wake up and everything that you live for could be gone in a minute. Like um, Kenny Chesley, don't blink. You, you blink and everything, your baby girl done grown up, went to college, your life to flash by you, and, and your life to flash by you in a moment. Go listen to that song by Kenny Chastity called Don't Blink. They are so relatable. This is why I, I mess with country music, because it to me, I know all music are relatable. I know every artist tell a story, but it's something about the way I connect with country music and the way I listen to it and how it makes me feel. These are two good songs that I think so as well. I know your name, you may, you're not into country music. Everybody is not into it. Well, go check out Kenny Chastney, Don't Blink. Go check out Tim McGraw, Live Like You Die. And let me know in the comments or in the community board after you listen to these songs, how did it make you feel? Did it make you get out, want to get up and reach out to this person that you need to reach out to? And if you don't have the strength, because sometimes we could be a little stubborn. They need to come to me. They need to tell me they saw it. Pray to that man upstairs. Pray to him. Pray that he give you the strength to reach out to the person that you need to reach out to. Fill your heart. It's about you. It's about making you feel good. It's about stressing, getting the stress off your chest. You know what I'm saying? It's about just breathing again. One less thing you got to worry about. One less person that you feel you got to mend bridges with. I'm telling you, don't be stubborn. Let God open your heart up to this person. I ain't saying let this person back in your life. If they're negative, they're negative. But bring some solution to your to your health you know what i'm saying bring some solution to your health make yourself breathe again you know what i'm saying take some of that pressure up off you 
it takes a lot, a lot of work to not, not to forgive. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot, a lot of work to hate. Who want to work that hard for something that's not going to get you anywhere? Not forgiving and hating is not getting you anywhere in this life. I'm telling you, it's a stress reliever when you forgive, when you say, I'm sorry. Even if you think you don't owe an apology, even if you think that person owe you that apology, call them up. Say, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Get it out there. That person may not even realize they owe you an apology, may not know that they did anything to you. What did I do? Why are they feel like, why I haven't heard from so and so and so long? Some people don't even know. They're oblivious to the fact that they may hurt you. They may have said something that got you standing away from them. Some people don't even know what they do or say that made an impact on your relationship and wonder why they, why I ain't seen Josie about three months or so? And I called her, she ain't answering the telephone. Some people just don't know the things that they do that make you stay away. You gotta acknowledge it to them, let them know, have a conversation, talk about it. And then at the end of the day, if you still don't want them back in your life, it's your choice, you don't have to. But guess what? The apologies are said, the sorries are said, the acceptance are done. I'm telling you, I like them songs. Kenny Chastney, I'm going to say it again. Kenny Chastney, don't blink. Tim McGraw, live like you dying. Do what you need to do. Y'all, we need on construction on our block. The men look at me like, who's she talking to over there? <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, once you do that, you see what I just did? You have a lot more smiles in your life, a lot more laughter. I'm telling you, if you don't have the strength to pick up that phone, if you're that stubborn one, uh, if I'm talking to that person who needs to be apologizing to somebody, who needs to be telling somebody they sorry, and you don't have that strength, that's why we got what? God in our life. That's why he what? always have our back. That's why he's going to guide you in the direction that you need to be in when you pray to him about the things that you can't overcome. When you pray to him about the things that you've been stubborn about. God, give me the strength to, 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 to call this person to let this person know how I'm feeling and, and, and if I wrong this person, give me the strength to say, I'm sorry. Because Some people could know that they wrong you, but their pride and their stubbornness get in the way. But that's when you also got to acknowledge to yourself of your wrongdoings. And you have to pray to God to help you overcome what's in you so that you could be that person. So you can know that I did something wrong. And so that you could know it's time to apologize. You don't want that person that you owe this sorry to or you owe this apology to. You wake up and they're gone. Honey, we get one thing in this life, and I always tell y'all, we get a lot of things in this life, but we get one thing. You get one life, one life to live, and I want you guys to live it to the fullest. I want you to know that there's nothing out here that you can't dream of, that you can't do, that you can't inspire to be with the help of God and yourself. You can, man, you can move mountains. Just don't think of it. You can move mountains, man. It could be the mountains in your life, the mountains in somebody's life. But trust and believe what the man upstairs on your side. You're giving all praise to him. You're praying to him. You're walking with his faith and his footsteps. You can move mountains. There are no mountains, no obstacles that you cannot touch, that you cannot reach without God on your side. I'm telling you, I'm moving mountains. I'm stepping over hurdles. I'm doing things. You know what I'm saying? It's because I gave all my confidence in him. I put my confidence in him. I gave my faith to him. I put my faith in him. And it helps me put it in myself. It helps me recognize who I am and what I can do. If I owe apologies or sorries to someone, I must tell them. Because I asked God to give me the strength to do that. I asked this man upstairs to say, help me know who I wrong, who I hurt, who I owe an apology to. Uplift me so that I could do the right thing. Tomorrow is not promised. 
immortality is no more than a fairy than a fantasy or a fairy tale something you see in the movie longevity you never know here today gone tomorrow so if you owe apologies you need to tell somebody you're sorry. You need to reach out and get someone a helping hand. Do it now while they're above ground. Do it now. We got one life. And we, I want you to live it to the fullest. God wants you to live it to the fullest. He don't want you around here moping and your heart being heavy. And your spirit being down. Because I'm telling you. If you got so much laying up on you, your spirit will stay, your spirit will be down. You can't find your way to God because you, 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 you're being weighed down by so much, by your own stubbornness, by something that you think some, something is old to you. I'm telling you, you can't. And if your spirit is weighed down and it's just like, it's like, it's like it's a boulder on your back, something on your back that's holding you down. Honey, all you got to do is open your, open your mind, open your heart. Tell that man upstairs what you need. Tell him to give you the strength. Tell him to uplift you. Tell him to let you know that you need to give apology to someone. Give that to that person. And if someone wants to apologize to you, but you feel like you're not ready, open your heart up to God and say, Lord, let me accept this person into my heart. Let me accept this apology. Please give me an open mind. Please give me strength to be in the same room with this person, to hear this person out. Because I know you want me to. Because sometimes we just don't want to hear people out. Because it's like, I'm done, done. I don't want to hear it anymore. Don't be like that. And I know it's easier said than done, but we need this. Life is not promised, and more child is not real. Longevity, we, are, we don't have it. We just don't know. We never know. Mend your fences now, people. Mend your fences now. And before we leave this platform, I just give a little prayer. God, I'd like for you to give strength to anyone and everyone who come across this video, who need business mending, who needs to open their heart up, not just to a person that needs to accept the apology from a person, or if they need to give apology, or they need to open their heart up to you so they can recognize the apology, for they can ask you to help them, to give them strength, oh Lord. Please put your hand on them. Anyone who's looking at this video, please put their hand, put your hand on them. Let them know that you're here for them and that they can ask you for anything because you are our Lord Savior and that you have a back and they are children of God and forgiveness. And if you can forgive, Lord, we can forgive, man can forgive Amen That's all I want to say That's all I want to say I got something else to say Like, share, subscribe <laughs> Hit that bell to be notified And as usual guys Thank you for coming in I say my morning thoughts But you don't get this video till the afternoon Like this video, share this video Share this video If you don't share any other video That I put on this platform This particular morning thought If you know somebody who's struggling To forgive someone If you know of somebody who know they need to apologize to them, please share this video with them. Let them listen to this video so they can know that what they need to do. Sometimes we know what we need to do. Again, we're stubborn. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't let pride be the reason why you don't go to someone and tell them what they need to hear or listen to what needs to be said to you. Open your heart. Open your heart. And listen to Kenny Chesney. Don't blink. Because when you blink, you look up, your children is grown, life done passed you by, and then you're 65. Hmm. Tim McGraw. I want you to live your life like you dying. Like there's no tomorrow. Don't take advantage of tomorrow. Live your life like you dying. Make every day worth living. Mend the bridges with people. Have faith in God. Ask Him to help you open your heart. I right, so squad. Have a great Monday evening. I'm out. <laughs>